Hi physics fam, here we're going to be doing an angled projectile problem where we are solving for the horizontal displacement of the football. Um, the last video that we did, we solved for the time of flight with this exact same problem. So we started off by drawing our picture over here, and then we created a chart and filled in all of the variables that we knew from the problem. And then we got down to our initial velocities in both the horizontal and vertical direction. And we solved for those using right triangle trig. And then we went and determined that we needed to use all of the Y information to find our time. So we used this equation here and solved for time. So now we're going to use that information and solve for our horizontal displacement. So now that we have solved for virtually every single variable except for our final position in the horizontal direction, we can use any of the equations that we want. So we have um, the very long equation, x equals x initial plus initial velocity in the x direction times time plus one half acceleration in the x direction times t squared. Now this is really helpful because our acceleration is zero, so we're left with a much simpler equation. From here we can plug in all of our information. Um, we also know that our initial position is zero. So we're just going to go ahead and take 17.7 meters per second and multiply that by the time that we found in the previous slide. So 17.7 times 3.61 gives us a final position of 63 0.9 meters, which will be our horizontal displacement. Now, if you already recognized from the get-go that our acceleration is zero, we could have used our average velocity equation, where we have displacement over change in time. Uh, you'll see that that gives us the same thing because our average velocity would look at um, the average between our initial and final velocities, but since those are the same, it works out the exact same way.